The parts I'm using consist of four 280 amp hour EVE cells. You can also use 271 to 280 amp hour Lishan or Cato cells. An ABS battery box. And for today's build, we're using a daily smart BMS. I have used these successfully on many builds. You'll also need some tools including 10 and 13 millimeter sockets, a 10 millimeter combination wrench, a razor knife, and a voltmeter. In my builds, I use some four inch captain tape, electrical tape, and a few cable ties. These three bus bars came with the batteries. I also purchased a hardware pack that includes 3M double-sided tape, some Loctite blue, four eight millimeter stainless flange bolts for the box top and bottom, eight six by 20 millimeter stainless grub screws, and eight six millimeter stainless flange nuts. It also includes a three millimeter hex key wrench plus a custom made 12 inch two gauge jumper with 5 16 and quarter inch heavy duty ring terminals. These terminals are flipped opposite to each other which will greatly assist with the box lid assembly shown later. I'm going to first put the cells in order in the box. I pre-assembled the grub screws with Loctite to save time on this video. These ABS boxes are superb quality and made to fit these cells perfectly with room left over for most BMSs. I label my cells 1 through 4 just for organization. I start with cell 4 with the positive terminal on the right. Cell 3 goes in with positive on the left. Cell 2 goes in with positive on the right. And cell 1 goes in with positive on the left. Next we need the three bus bars. They are installed from cell 1 positive to cell 2 negative, cell 2 positive to cell 3 negative, and cell 3 positive to cell 4 negative. Now the BMS. This BMS came in a foam cutout that I modified in size to fit the box perfectly. I take the BMS temperature sensor and push it slightly down the right side and secure it with a piece of electrical tape. Next step is to take the 3mm foam square and attach it to the back of the Bluetooth device. I adhere it in the center of cell 4 and make sure I route the Bluetooth lead up the center of all the cells. Then take the BMS sense wires. This is disconnected from the BMS at this time. When I received the BMS, I cut the leads to a proper length and installed quarter inch ring terminals. The number one black sense wire goes to cell one negative and is secured loosely with a flange nut. Positive sense one goes to cell one positive and secured with a flange nut. Cell two positive is next, followed by cell three positive, Then cell 4 gets the 2 gauge jumper using the quarter inch ring on top of the terminal followed by the last positive sense wire and a flange nut. Before tightening the flange nut, I route the 2 gauge jumper approximately down the center of the pack. By doing this, it allows the upside down 5 16 terminal to align with the top of the battery box positive. I then give it a good snug. The direction of the 2 gauge is about at this angle to make the box lid fit accurately. Install the remaining flange nuts and before tightening the 2 gauge lead I check the alignment down the center of the pack again. Now I install the BMS B negative wire to cell one negative and the black sense ring terminal on top. Daily uses highly flexible silicone wires which allow you to adjust where they sit comfortably in the space allowed. Then I tighten the flange nut until the position is snug. It's now time to go through each screw and flange nut and torque them down by holding the grub screw with the hex key and tighten the nut with a 10 millimeter wrench. I don't have a specification for this as I have been doing it by feel for years. You want it tight enough so that the BMS B negative lead does not move with a good pressure on it. Be careful. The grub screw and nut are stainless steel. 
the battery terminal is aluminum. Excessive torque can strip out the aluminum terminal. I then tighten each terminal down with a good firmness. Using a voltmeter, check the pack to see if the pack voltage is correct. The BMS 5 pin connector can be attached now. As you can see, the BMS is not activated yet. I activate it. Next, I dress the wires with cable ties. And then I put down two layers of Captain tape over everything as a safety measure. The last couple steps are to install the 8mm bolts that came with the hardware kit to the top of the inside of the box lid. This last step is tricky as you may have to adjust the position of the BMS P negative, the 2 gauge positive lead, and where it hits the battery. Torque each bolt down tightly, then put the lid on the box. I check my final voltage, and it's done.